Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. We released an update to React Studio. The update version number is 1.7.4. And this update contains a couple really, really nice new features. One is for that you are, you are now uh, capable of creating horizontal lists. And then another one is that you can change, change the component own state with the interaction. Previously, you had to create a script for achieving this. So it's much easier now with the pre-made interaction. There's also mock-up image generator in data sheets, which is really handy when, they, when you are designing something, prototyping something. And then there's a bunch of minor UI improvements here and there. And a few bug fixes as well. For example, fixing the bug for, for having more than five data sheets and so on. So let's go quickly go through what are the main main new features. Here I have a new project. Let's call this my app update demo. And first let's create horizontal list. Uh, by for that we need a data sheet. Maybe I'll call this R. Let's call this buildings. And then here's the new mockup mock -up data for creating creating pictures. So I can just select architecture pictures, six, 600 pictures or 1000 pictures. There's also fashion pictures, food pictures, profile pictures. These are downloaded from unsplash.com. So let's add a few architecture pictures and maybe also some text text mockup data and here we have it and uh, let's go back to main screen and start building the list and we'll add a image and one text element select both of them create make list and this is also a new thing I can select the data sheet already from here so select buildings and here I have typical kind of list. So this is the new thing, new part here. You can select the uh, list and grid settings. So, so by default it's vertical, but you can set it to be horizontal in narrow phone, wide phone. So you can have a grid in tablet or desktop size and then horizontal list in, in mobile, mobile size if you need. But let's, I will just keep all of these horizontal. So the list will be horizontal list on every screen size. And attach it from left and right. Maybe make it a little bit smaller like this. And uh, edit a bit the list item item then here. Maybe I'll add it five pixels from left and minus five pixels from right and last I need to need to link the properties so this will be the pick obviously and this will be the the city like this and maybe maybe I will add a grid uh, grid spacer on below of the of the item so there's a little there's a small there will be a small cap cap between the text and the bottom of this item. So let's go back to main screen and here I have the horizontally scrollable list. Let's just open it in browser and see how it looks. And here we have the app running in a in a browser. I can just swipe it with the mouse like this or with the phone I can just swipe it swipe it in a, inside the container so next uh, let's create the uh, collapsible panel which is basically it's a component changing component components own state let's call this like this and uh, let's add a background for this. 
and uh, maybe we we could have it so that so that this is a sort of like a short text which will expand to longer text when you click it and uh, now this is uh, the component takes takes its height from the scroll flow but you can always change it from here take height from layout flow but we'll keep it as it is add, add a grid spacer and uh, this will be the this will be the text and and then we'll we'll align it from left and right this is the basic stuff and then we need another state another state is uh, easy to add it's just add state so we have two states here and I will I will I will uh, add the duration for this component uh, this element to two and uh, this this one as well and for background as well I guess and then use the slice tool to actually slice it so that there can be there can be a different text uh, in the element and uh, first we need to create interaction when 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 you click the first the the default state uh, text here you want to change change the state of this this uh, component change it to two obviously and then when the state two when user clicks that we want to change the state back to zero no sorry not zero but <laughs> but one so when you click this one it will show you the not second state and in the second state when you click the text it will show you the first state uh, let me copy some text which will make this make this nicer so here would be the short text like this and uh, the long text would be this one and uh, finally I can just drag this this component on the screen like this and, uh, I could attach it from left and right and then again run it in a browser and see how it looks I know here we already have it have it in a browser and if I click this one it will show me the the long long version the second state and I click it again then it will show me the first state so that's how you can create collapsible collapsible panel or and if you want to create a maybe a menu or something where you want to change the state of the component itself inside the component so that that's all about the latest update there's also a major update for the firebase plugins so make sure you when you open open the studio you, you will update the studio and then you head up in the plugins and uh, and uh, and update the firebase plugins there's a nice new feature for for uh, creating in queries in firebase now it's uh, it's it was uh, supported by the latest version of the javascript sdk so we added that to the that to the pl plugin but you you will find more information about that in the in our medium medium post related to the firebase update thanks for watching the video and see you next time